Walkacho National Forest. And uh, there's, uh, I don't know, but about a little bit of snow on the ground. And there's an area that uh, about 4,000 feet elevation. Uh, normally we get a lot of traffic on this major highway, but due to the snow at the time of the year, uh, there wasn't nobody there. It was really, uh, it's real quiet. So we made eye contact, the, the person stopped, and then turned and then went up the hill. Again, moving really fast. This is the uh, Mackenzie River. It is famous for a Bigfoot sighting that occurred uh, a couple years back. A couple guys were river rafting down and apparently got some footage of what is believed to be a possible uh, Bigfoot. I was probably 12 years old at the mm -hmm. time and we were living on 200 plus acres in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Like you had to draw like a long dirt road, it was like in three Oregon? miles. Yeah, okay. it was in um, up by Gordon Creek. In 2004, a left footprint was discovered in Washington State during a National Geographic expedition, believed to be that of an unknown primate. You see that, that oh, right there? I see it, yes. Now watch it, now watch. It'll start it over. Now watch it, now watch it. It'll, it'll turn, it's facing this way. It turns, faces us, it turns, and it, right there, watch it. It'll turn and walk off to the left. Walks oh. out of frame. We oh. didn't see that when we were there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is epic. Yeah. That is, That's not a bear because no, like bears. Like, bears are more stocky. Yeah. Yeah. And when you zoom out, and you can you can clearly here watch it again. You can clearly see the um, it walks upright on two legs. Mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. it's, That's crazy. It's awesome. That's really close. I used to live in this place at the end of the road. The road dead ended in this property that was. You know, private within the national mm -hmm. forest, and it was big acreage and in mountains. Mm -hmm. There was a walk that we used to go on, just out from the house and past the barn and along the fence and then up the mountain. The walk was called Teddy Bear's Picnic, and we went up to the Teddy Teddy, Teddy Bear's Picnic little plateau, mm -hmm. kind of picnic spot, and turned around and we're heading back down the hill. You know, moving along quiet. All of a sudden, the dogs got real excited about something, and they took off, diving off the downhill side, and they went mm -hmm. down into the woods and disappeared. And, uh, you know, that's normal. So I just keep on walking down the trail. But then all of a sudden, this person Come scrambling up the steep slope from below the trail and gets onto the trail, maybe 50 feet in front of me, turns and starts coming up the trail at not exactly a full run, but fast, moving fast, getting away from the dogs, and came to within 20 feet. There's a lot of credible people who claim to have had an encounter with a large unknown primate that walks on two legs. Willamette National Forest, uh, got a little bit of fresh snow on the ground. People don't realize how rugged and vast the forest is throughout the Pacific Northwest. There's places out there that normal people just don't go. So I wake up because I hear this 
outside and I'm just like, oh God, it's a bear. I'm just like, oh, what do I do? I start freaking out. Mm -hmm. No one's home. I'm oh, by what? myself. Twelve. Wow. And so all of a sudden, like I hear this, and <laughs> then on our wraparound porch and everything, I see this hand, like, wow. like oh. some, like something go by and everything, and I'm wow. just like, wow. I'm like, oh no 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I'm so. like, no 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 no. I start freaking out even more, and so then probably ten minutes later. This tree comes crashing down. Wow. One tree. And we're in the middle of a forest where wow. there's no way that a breeze or any gust of wind could topple one tree. And we set out towards uh, eastern Oregon. As we were driving up the snowy pass, we got around the other side and uh, noticed an area that looked good for uh, travel crossing and migration. It's an area where a possible Bigfoot or Sasquatch uh, wouldn't normally travel. When the snow gets deep enough, a uh, common belief is that it pushes them down, uh, just like the elk, when they migrate to lower elevations, maybe just uh, just as far as they need to and it pushes them into those areas those somewhat semi-remote areas where they wouldn't normally be places where people drive by every day but don't normally look and never get out of their cars We made eye contact, mm. and it reminded me of an orangutan in the way that the hair was long oh and, my God. and thin, um, you know, not, not furry, nothing like a bear or anything, standing completely upright, but with, with strangely long arms and strange musculature. Wow, uh, so makes my hair stand. It was happening really quick, and it was not creepy, but in the in the eyes of this person, I could see that he or she just didn't want to be bothered, wanted to be left alone. We did some wood knocks, a couple calls, um, and ended up walk, uh, walking, following this old trail to this uh, bottom of this ridge, and at the top, we both thought that we had saw something uh, look like something or somebody standing up there, not human, uh, like movement, and uh, on the top of the ridge.
listening in on that ridge as much as you can to talk that ridge line. I thought I saw, I thought I saw something standing up there right about the middle of it. Somebody standing up there, something dark. Made eye contact, then the person stopped, and then turned, and then went up the hill. Again, moving really fast. Afterwards, the, the following day, we get back to the hotel and going over the footage and we catch something that we recorded that appears to be, it looks as if it's like a something, a large primate if you will, or something that spins and looks at us and then turns to the left and then walks off in a hurry up the hill. Uh, it looks like like it's walking on two legs. You can see the arm swing. We're in a remote location in central Oregon. Just had uh, some fresh snowfall, so it's uh, real quiet walking. And uh, we're in a pretty hot area. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna get here a little bit. Look for some prints, some tr you know, tracks and signs, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll kick something up. If you look up in the very back, you can see what looks like something spinning, looking at us, and then turning to its left and walking off into the forest on two legs. Whatever we captured with our camera was moving very fast, a lot faster than the camera was panning. A lot of people believe that uh, Bigfoot is a ghost, something uh, supernatural. And if so, then that leads us to a whole new question. Do ghosts leave footprints with dermal ridge patterns? And that's a whole debate on its own. It's possible that with all this new snowfall, that's pushing larger big game animals, including Bigfoot down the lower elevations. So we're up here high on, on, on the high mountaintop area up here. Uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of remote. Not a lot of people come up here. Responsible for over a third of all known Bigfoot sightings. It's pretty cool. Something like this could very well be Matrix. Could be Matrixy. Could just be a leaf. Maybe. Could it be a ghost? Something paranormal? Maybe. Could it be a Bigfoot? And if it was a Bigfoot, would that be enough to convince the average, average uh, the general population? Would that be enough to convince the public that uh, Bigfoot's real? Probably not. Look what we have now. We have footage, the Bluff Creek uh, footage of an actual, of what appears to be a Sasquatch walking across the riverbed. And that's still not enough. I get out of the house and I'm just like, oh God, what am I doing? Uh -huh. And so I go where the tree was, right by my window. Wow. And then all of a sudden I see these paw prints on the on the on my window and everything and I'm just like it's lines but you can see a handprint 
Wow. That's and I'm just like, that's mm. very interesting. Where was that location around? It is up in Gordon Creek. I can't remember the exact address, but if you know where um, the Bible camp is, it's up in that area. Tillamook State Forest. We went in this area and I uh, heard some wood knocks and found some really interesting footprints. I really believe that these footprints that we had found were legit. You can clearly see the the toes and uh, there's just nothing known in that forest that could make that print. It doesn't make any sense. We found lots of different tracks that were very large, too large to be human, and whatever made them weighed a lot more than I did. And sticks. Sticks that looked as if they were randomly arranged and placed in certain areas. Trees that appeared as if the bark had been peeled off. We also noticed trees that looked as if they were uprooted and pulled out of the ground. We call this the Ape Forest because it had this feel There's so much area out there that still has yet to be explored. Places where people probably haven't set foot in over a hundred years. Those places still exist. Yet when we get in our laptops and our sports cars, we seem to believe that Every place has been explored, and it's just not the case. Let's see if we can turn around this little... Yeah, we see our prints, but if it starts stopping right away, we can cover the prints before we get back. So we got to make sure that we, we're always aware of that. It's all about getting out there. You don't need a, a lot of money, 
fancy equipment or a big group of people to go out and actually find answers. You just got to get off the couch and get to know nature. Neat little hike in there. We may we heard we may have heard uh, a couple things and possibly saw something standing up on the ridge. Uh, just gonna have to check the footage and, and go from there. But uh, we're gonna continue on. There's another spot up the road that uh, we might go hit up. We'll see. Could this be a ghost? Maybe. Could this be matrixing? It's possible. Yeah, it could just, maybe, maybe it is just a leaf. Why aren't all the other leaves doing this? And why is it moving faster than the camera was panning? And if it is a ghost, that's a whole nother issue. But for now, the legend of Bigfoot remains a mystery. I'm Luke from Uncharted Destinations. Myself and Venus wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, I've been out of work for a while, I had some surgery done and at home recovering, so I've been working on the website. We got Uncharted Destinations officially uh, online, so go to unchartedestinations.com, uh, navigate to the shop link and subscribe it's absolutely free and the first hundred subscribers we're gonna send you a free gift we got sweaters we got jackets we got coffee mugs we got postcards we got t-shirts I uh, got a new video that we're working on as time allows and uh, just getting super stoked to head out there in our store, we happen to have a lot of unique uh, uh, products and items going up. This is one of them. It's a uh, Wild Horses uh, pillow. You can get it in uh, multiple sizes. We took this picture uh, on one of our adventures uh, driving through the Yakima uh, Indian Reservation. And it's a great little pillow. Uh, we actually keep it on our couch. Uh, just moved it in here because uh, we got our Christmas decorations up. and. Uh, this is one of the gifts we have. We got some coffee mugs. Uh, we got stickers. We got uh, postcards. We got jackets. And here's a neat little drawing that I did. Uh, my J.P. Riley Signature uh, Series Collection. This was a quick drawing that I did of the Bigfoot that I had an encounter with yeah, that I wrote about in my first book, uh, My Encounter with Bigfoot in Washington State by J.P. Riley. And a lot of our trademark uh, items, our uh, Bigfoot collection, have this picture in Mount Hood in the background because we love Oregon. And uh, so you'll see a lot of that in our page. Uh, eventually I'm going to have a lot more artwork. I'm going to be doing some more drawings and uh, some cool stuff like that. I want to thank uh, one of our uh, fans, and actually close friends, a co-worker, for uh, donating this sign to us, Bigfoot uh, Crossing here. You can't find this in any store. Pretty cool. And we got it hung on the wall there. Also got this, yeah, signed a book for her, and she gave us this cool uh, 
here this week, Bigfoot edition that you really can't find anymore. And she's actually related to Roger Patterson, I believe that's her uncle or something. Pretty interesting. Uh, my Side of the Mountain, one of my favorite group uh, books growing up. I loved it so much. I'm actually working on my own wilderness adventure a series book called Echoes of the Forest that I'm hoping to finish up and have done soon. So I'll let you guys know as soon as that's done. Uh, this is my office. This is where you know, I'll be working a lot more soon and getting a lot of projects done. So I'm wishing everybody once again a hap happy, uh, safe New Year's happiness and wisdom carry you through. I'm Luke, that's Venus. You're watching Uncharted Destinations. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and thanks for all your support.